hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is shay and today i am back with another video for you guys so today just like any other day since i started this channel i am sharing with you everything that the lord has been giving me and putting in my heart okay and so today we're going to be speaking about a very familiar parable that jesus spoke okay so this is the part in the bible where Jesus is explaining what the kingdom of God is like and he begins to go into how the kingdom of God is like a man a farmer and he plants wheat okay and so it says when the man went to sleep the enemy came in and planted some tares okay and the significant part about tares is that when you plant a wheat and a tear next to each other they look just the same in the beginning stages right and once they grow up and you begin to see you know if we just looking at it oh this is we and this is a tear you begin to see what it's really about right so the only time to tell the difference in these times between the wheat and the tear is when it's harvest time so the bible says that the servants of the lord point out that there are now tares growing in with the weeds and so the the servants say do you want us to go out and like pull them up like get them out of there and the man says no let them grow together and the man began to explain to his servants you can't pull the tares up right now because it's not harvest season it's not harvest time but soon you'll be able to 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 tear out the tares so here we have it we're at harvest time right and if you haven't noticed the, the the revelation of the lord that came to me today is that we're in harvest time we're in harvest time we're in a time where god is about to pull up you hear me and separate the wheat from the tear so when we speak about tears we have to understand that tears they look the same as wheat in the beginning okay so here we are at harvest time the tears begin to show what's been growing all along okay so this is what the lord was giving me about the tears okay and how he's about to pluck up these people and, and pull them out and, 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 and bind them together. So as a tear, you have to understand the fruit that they bear. As a tear, how they grow. They, they grew more self-righteous and arrogant, okay? They grew more money hungry. Uh-oh, we don't want to talk about that. Uh-oh. So they grew more money hungry. Then we have the tears that grow their instagram followers and grow their instagram accounts uh-oh then we have the tears that grow their bank accounts off the people of god and god said not so it's harvest time y'all got to get plucked up and sent out of here okay and if you go and check out my video from yesterday i began to talk about how jesus comes in and his first stop is always to the church it's harvest time you'll know them by their fruit okay it looks the same it looks like a christian acts like a christian talks like a christian but guess what they are of their father who planted them it, the bible says the enemy came in and planted bad seed okay so we have to be very very careful right now god is exposing people he's pulling the mask off and so with that being said people of god wheat do not count it strange do not think it's weird do not think oh they would never because guess what the lord's like yes they are and i'm about to tear them up the tears got to go okay so the bible begins to explain how the tears all gets rooted up okay and they get bunched together and where do they go in the fire god is dealing with the people who are of the devil okay and so we have to be very careful when the bible says that satan comes he himself can disguise as an angel of light so if you if you think that satan himself can transform so can his so can his demons okay they can transform themselves to look like christians to act like christians to walk and talk like christians but on the inner parts they are ravenous animals beasts so to speak okay and so the tares are being ripped up in this season they're being exposed in this season so do not think it's weird do not think it's strange 
So let me just speak to the to, to give a word to the wheat really quick. Wheat, we are the people who actually really show the fruit of the spirit. Okay, we fought hard to get here. We fought witches and warlocks to get here. Let me tell you something. We battled poverty and, and, and stress and, and, and understanding depression. And we've been in a wilderness for this. We are the wheat. Stay strong. Ask for discernment, Lord. I don't want to be heartbroken when you pull out one of the tears that I love. Always keep your heart and your mind fixed on Jesus. Okay, so that was just a word for the wheat. Let me just share this with you. Matthew 13, 49, it says, So it will be at the end of the age, the angels will come forth and separate the wicked from the just. Okay, and, and in this parable, Jesus was saying the same exact thing. The, 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 the people came to them, they said, Jesus, can you explain the farmer in the, in the kingdom of God? And he began to go into the, the story that I just shared with you. And at this time, he switched it up and he called them the angels. Okay, his angels are coming down and sending forth separation from the wicked and the just. Okay, and it's called the coronavirus. You're going to see a lot of people's fruit. A lot of people y'all think are so holy, so spiritual. Guess what? God's like, guess what? They're not. I don't. I never knew them. Mm. You've been in ministry for 30 years and the Lord never knew you. Oh, we. It's harvest time. All right, so Matthew 15, 8 says, These people draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. What did I just say? I just said that. You're going to see a lot of people do not know the Lord. They do not operate in the Holy Spirit. They're preaching out of talent. They're preaching out of, of need of money. They're preaching for self-righteousness and, and self-gain to fly private jets and things like that. So you have to be very careful in this time and in this hour. Matthew 15, 13 says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted, uh-oh, it will be what? Uprooted. And this just furthers what the Lord just said to me. Let me tell y'all something. I told you, I do not get on here of myself, okay? You hear me? I have enough uh, 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 things to do to keep me busy. I have two toddlers, okay? That's enough all alone, minus the business and the husband and this and that and running around. But the fact that the Lord shared these things with me because he knows that I'm bold enough to say it when nobody else will. Your favorite pe preacher, your favorite pastor, your favorite this, your favorite de deacon, evangelist, all of them people. If they're not sent by God, guess where they're going to be? Uprooted because it's a tear. Mm, you look like the thing, but you ain't of it. You are not, not of the fruit of the spirit. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with this. 15, Matthew 15, 14. They are blind leaders. Uh-oh. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into a ditch. Uh-oh. The Lord gave me that scripture. I was minding my business, flat ironing my hair. And the Lord said, no, 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 no. Go over to your Bible. And what did I see? The first thing that I saw was 15, Matthew 15, 14. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leaders lead the blind, both will fall into the ditch. The Lord is holding people accountable, okay? Holding people accountable in this season. So you can't be being led by leaders who are blind. You have It's time for you to open up your eyes. Ask the Lord to take the scales off of your eyes, okay? Because you're now being held accountable too. So you mean to tell me that you've been going to church for 20 years and you still don't know that tithing is of the Old Testament and not of Jesus Christ? Hello? And I, I'm going to get, you know what, if the, if the Lord will have me to do so, I'm going to do a series on tithing. And how's the scam? It's harvest time. The wheat, you are protected. It says that when the tears were all gathered together and put in a fire, the wheat were all gathered together and they were placed in the barn, in the owner's barn, safely, safely covered in the blood of Jesus, okay? We are safely covered in his blood. 
that's only for the weed though but if you playing and you acting you gonna get you gonna get plucked up and uprooted okay so y'all better stop playing with god y'all better stop playing with the things of god and y'all better stop playing with the real people of god let me tell you something you are accountable for the ears of the listener you are accountable and, and and their blood is on your hands you can't just be saying whatever you want to say you can't just be doing whatever you want to do we have to be we have to get back to the place of fearing the lord because that's what it's about it's not even about us this ain't about us how dare we let me tell you something it's harvest time and my god is not playing with y'all he ain't playing with me he wasn't playing with me let me tell you something <laughs> i had to pass an extensive amount of tests back to back to back to back to gear you understand me and and so i just want you to know that it ain't just y'all it's me too guys like let, let me tell you something okay because i know what i put in you and i'm a i'm, I'm now calling it forth okay because now i'm holding you accountable tasha i'm holding you accountable for the ears that hear because i place too much inside of you and i don't care how much your sin try to rise up against what the things of god is saying what my what my holy spirit is saying to you it's time for you to come out from among them and be ye separate but this is all stuff that the lord has been working on me for the span of 10 years it took me 10 years to get here. And I didn't ask for this. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all how I know I'm called to do this. So I did not choose my struggles. I did not choose my battles. I did not. Let me tell you something. The Lord had me and my husband and my family living in churches. That was not by accident. It was humiliating at the time for me. But I know that it was my purpose because God got me. <laughs> Listen, he was training me for this moment right here to the point where I could come out and speak out against the negativity and the and the disgustingness of what is going on behind the closed doors. How they are deceiving the people of God and how they are about to fall in judgment. Okay, and so I know that I'm called to do this and can't nobody tell me different. That's why I'm here. That's why I have a big mouth. Had one my whole life. And God said, that's actually a gift. I know you get on people's nerves, but that's actually a gift. So for this moment right here, I'm calling out leaders. Not by choice, because I like to mind my business. But by assignment, it is my job and my duty to the Lord to call out the things that I see and, and call out the leaders and, and be led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm no different than you. Look at me. I'm in my, listen, I'm in flesh. And so I have to wake up every single day and kill it. Like for real, kill it. Because I'm just like anybody else. I could fall just like the people who I'm, who, who God is calling me to. Just like the, the leaders that fell and they fell into them, their own temptations and, and, and they were ran by their own lust. God said, listen, as long as you in your flesh, you can do the same thing. I'm no different. People in leadership are no different. That's why we have to kill our flesh daily. We have to kill this flesh. It's no, no good thing comes from it. All right, so I hope that this was a really good word for you guys. I hope that you are blessed. We stay faithful. Tears, y'all better get it together, okay? Let me tell you something. I know that we serve a God who is mighty and just. And he's angry in this season. And he's coming in like a mighty rushing wind through the coronavirus. And, and the church still hasn't picked it up. How? How are we the church? And we ain't picked this up in the spirit. You want to know why they haven't picked it up? Because the Lord came in just for them. Coronavirus is here for you. Okay? Because he's coming in and he's turning over tables. And he's flipping over bank accounts. Okay? Because as long as we're on quarantine and everything's shut down, that means that the church is shut down. And that means you can't preach your false tithing message. I am Shay and I am out of here. 
and I'll be back with another video for you guys if the Lord 